pick to choose um, a subject, what I'm going to talk about at um, this event. I was extremely nervous, terrified, and mortified with the idea of having to speak facing so many people. So I started visualizing what the TED event would look like in my head at that time. It actually resembled like a horror movie because I am actually very scared right now. And at that time, I was so scared and horrified with the idea of talking in front of so many people. So this is the TED logo which I came up with. That was my emotion at that time. But then obviously that's something which I had to get over. And I thought of taking a completely contrasting approach. And I came up with something which is a little more fun, more colorful, more joyous, playful, almost like a kid's event, but for adults. I also added a teddy bear, thinking that maybe you might receive teddy bears as return gifts. But that again is not reality. So finally I thought, I need to do a little bit of research, I need to talk to people and understand what this event is like. And then I came up with a more realistic and a more intricate, a stylish, a multi-layered logo, which is what I hope that my talk today will be as well. So you see what I was doing? I was manifesting all of my feelings for this event and all the fears that I had, all the apprehensions and all these emotions, and I was putting them into my letters by the way they are shaped, by the way they are, by the way the flow is, by the design, by the color, by the texture, by their size. Letters have the ability to express everything. Letters can um, represent and say much more than what they actually want to convey. Letters are all around us. We see them everywhere. But we're so used to seeing them that we kind of take them for granted and we don't really consider and think about why they are shaped or designed a particular way. Letters can take us to a completely different era and a completely different century. Letters can tell you certain values and even tell you some stories. Letters are sometimes meant to be permanent and meant to last forever. Hence, they are etched and carved out in stone. Some letters are not meant to last too long maybe just for a few hours or a few days, like when you go to a restaurant and a cafe and you see the menu of the day. Some letters, you may not really understand what it means, but the way it's designed, you know exactly that you're not supposed to do something or you're supposed to follow something. Some letters are so very modern by the way their flow is and by the ease at which it's designed, so you know exactly what it is. It's like it's a cafe, a place where you can relax. Some letters are very simple, modern. Some letters give you an insight into a place or the capabilities, the talent of a person for whom it is being designed. Sometimes some letters can be really playful and they actually are made up of the elements which the logo is made for. Some letters are so timeless that they take you back to your childhood. Generally, when I visit social gatherings and events, um, I'm not the sort of person who talks a lot. I'm generally um, standing quietly in a corner in my own world. I'm very shy. I'm an introvert. I also have a very soft voice. So that also goes against me. So when people approach me and ask me what I do for a living, I just say that I'm an artist and I don't say anything more than that. And generally, people don't ask me beyond that, because I think an artist is a word that speaks for itself, and I'm more than happy to not elaborate so that I don't need to speak. But in reality, I'm so much more than just an artist. I'm a paper typographer. What is typography? Typography is the art of designing type and designing beautiful letters. Letters which can best 
represent a particular theme or a subject and can communicate in the most optimum way. So I have combined my love for paper and crafting and my love for typography and I have mixed them both to create paper typography which I create just using my bare hands with no use of any digital technology and no computer softwares. It requires a lot of passion, a lot of patience, precision and persistence to do this art which is very unique, it's very one of a kind and it's also something that a lot of people cannot do. I consider my job to be quite similar to that of an architect who creates and constructs a building, like just like an architect would visit his site and survey the area on which he is going to build, I too need to first see the surface and the base on which I am going to be building my letters. Then the architect starts drawing and making sketches of um, how the, re the area will be, how the plan will be, how many floors, walls, how high the ceiling will be, where the windows will be placed according to the light and the doors, etc. I do the exact same thing, but I do it with letters. I, create, I start creating shapes and forms. I give it curves. Sometimes I make them very narrow. I give a lot of details depending on the subject. I sometimes play with certain letters and even make them look very whimsical and fancy. But this is all in a sketch form. Once my drawing is complete, I start with building my own letter. I can show you a process of exactly how I work and how I build my letter. So I was commissioned to create the key artwork for Adobe Acrobat, which had their 25th anniversary. So what I do is I start with first drawing, drawing out the numbers, and then it's the Acrobat trademark logo. And since it's a celebration, I have like this firework display, then I start cutting out the strips, and I start gluing each strip down, following the guidelines which I have drawn below. I have to ensure that I glue the paper exactly on the drawing. And the Adobe logo is made up of these vibrant red colors, shades of, different shades of red, and there are certain blues and yellows. Then I start working on the 25 sign, which is behind. It's going to be all in white, so it doesn't grab too much attention and take away from the Agropath sign. I continue the same thing with the number five, and I also follow the rays of the fireworks, the illusion which I'm trying to create. And I do the same thing, basically. I take the strips, I mold them, I shape them, and I glue them down very precisely so that it kind of converges and creates one harmonious design. And the final touches is when I start adding little pops of color so that it's through the white, you can also see a bit of the fireworks, a bit of vibrancy which will come out. Once it's complete, I take it to my studio and I take a picture. That's how it looks. In many ways, I feel paper as a medium is very similar to my own nature and my own character as a person. Paper is very fragile and yet very strong, and that's what I think I am too. It has the ability to, to bear a lot of weight, even though it looks so um, easy, easily to, very easy to kind of um, destroy, but that's not the case. It has to be handled very gently, very delicately, and especially the kind of work that I do, I need to mold it in a precise way, and I need to glue it down very correctly to get the, the result that I want. In many ways, I feel paper typography is, and the shape of letters is similar to our gestures, like our hand gestures or our facial expressions, and also the tone of our voice. So for example, if I was to say that this is a really wonderful event, 
And as against that, if I was to say, this is such a wonderful event, that's the difference of how you speak, and it's also similar how I work with paper. I can give you some examples of um, the work that I have created myself, and whatever I'm trying to portray through my work, letting my emotions come out. So I can speak about something very romantic and something very loving with the way the type is designed. I can speak about summer, warm weather, and include illustrations like clouds and sunshine. I can also make connections with people by connecting the letters that I'm creating. I can show the tenderness and compassion which a mother can give. Also a celebration and a great festival by using the trademark features which I used. Also show you what the meaning of life is by depicting and adding all the elements which convey life to me in each of the letters. I can also give you a sense of something very old and traditional by the way I have structured my alphabets, by the way I have designed them, by making them look quite vintage, and by using a serif font. I can also take you for a walk through a fragrant botanical garden. I can give you a sense of pride and patriotism by creating letters and certain monuments which are so significant to our country. I can take you for an evening soiree to the Sula Vineyards and for a wine tasting session as well. And also wish you a very happy Diwali during a celebratory times. So for a person who's very shy and introvert like me, um, my work has made me a more outgoing person, but it's only through the designs and through the letters that I create. Paper typography is the perfect tool for me to express myself more openly. I can be very bold when it comes to using all the vibrant colors to show you the very colorful side of my personality. I don't suppress myself when it comes to speaking, and I let, us, and I let my letters do all the talking so that I don't really need to speak. In a way, I can say that through typography with paper, I found a way to have my own voice. Since my job is to be a designer of type, I want them to make you feel and to make you see things the way I see them. So it's very important for me to shape the letters very beautifully, very exquisitely, and to have a lot of meaning. So um, through my alphabets and through my letters, I'm always trying to evoke a sense of excitement, astonishment, and joy for the viewer on viewing. My letters are constantly seeking to make you dream, to make you wonder, and sometimes even make you travel to places like London, or Singapore, even Oslo. Since the communication is such an important part of our everyday life, the letters require all the effort and the craftsmanship and the delicateness with which it is being created. Because you, as the viewer, deserve to feel all the emotions and to see all the beauty through my alphabets so that my letters can make you get dazzled, they can charm you, and even transport you to another world. That's it.